Number 18. A commuter backs her car out of her garage with an acceleration of 1.40 meters per second squared. Letter A. How long does it take her to reach a speed of 2.00 meters per second? All right, so let's work with part A first. Let's just draw a quick sketch. So this individual is backing out of her garage and she accelerates um, with a value of 1.40 meters per second. Well, accelerates. And the acceleration here is 1.40 meters per second squared. Now, it's safe to assume that if she's starting in the garage here, right, this is her start point, um, that her velocity was initially zero, right? So the initial velocity is zero meters per second. And um, it says now in the question, right, that the final velocity is two meters per second, because they're asking us how long does it take for her to reach this speed? So the final velocity here, she's traveling at two 0 0.00 meters per second. And they're asking us to calculate the uh, time which it took to go from um, 0 meters per second to 2 meters per second. So let's think about do we know a formula that relates all of these variables together, the velocity, the acceleration, the time? And we do, right? The acceleration is equal to the change in the velocity divided by the change in time. So in other words, um, the acceleration is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the time it took, right? Or the change in time. So the final velocity in this problem is 2.00 meters per second. The initial velocity was zero meters per second. And the time it took her um, to travel this distance is the question, right? So t is our variable. Now let's just plug in the acceleration. So I'm just going to erase that because they gave it to us, right? The value was 1.40, so I can plug that in. So 1.40 meters per second squared. And now I can simply calculate my time value. Right? If you notice, there is consistency within the units. The distance, or I should say the displacement unit in the acceleration is meters, as well as in the velocities. And the time values are also consistent, seconds and seconds. Okay, great. So let's do our calculation. I'm just going to rewrite everything, though, um, without the units, just so we can clear the field a little bit. So 2.00 minus 0 over t. So just switch the t with the 1.40. So the time would now be equal to 2.00 divided by 1.40. So now the time would be, plug it into the calculator, and it works out to be 1.40. Four three seconds. Great. So that is the time it took her to back out of her driveway um, and accelerate to a value of, or not accelerate, but to reach a final velocity of two meters per second. Now let's take a look at part B. If she then breaks to a stop in 0.8 seconds, what is her deceleration? Okay, so basically, if we continue this picture on out, right? She's going to break and eventually come to a stop, right? So in terms of the gold frame here, her final velocity here would actually be zero now, meters per second. And the initial velocity at this particular point is the same as the final velocity of the black frame. The reason being is because the two points are the same, right? The end of the black frame is the same as the beginning of the yellow frame. So I'm just going to move the box up here a little bit just so I don't cut off the line. And now what I need to do, and now also they told me that the time it takes to go from 2 meters per second squared to 0 meters per second is 0 0.800 seconds. And that's the time. Okay, so now again, do we know relationships between these variables? Yes, we do. Now remember, they're asking us to calculate her deceleration, a.k.a her negative acceleration. So let's use that formula again. So acceleration is equal to change in velocity divided by change in time. So the acceleration is what we're looking for. The velocity can be broken down then into final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by the change in time. So now the final velocity we said was zero meters per second. The initial velocity was 2.00 meters per second. 
Remember, I'm only considering the yellow frame here. And then the time it took her to go from 2 meters per second to 0 occurred in 0.800 seconds. Great, so now I can just calculate my acceleration. I have consistency amongst all the units, meaning the distance or the displacement is in meters and the time is in seconds. So now let's just clear the field, get rid of the units. Just remember your units though, uh, so that you can place them in when you finish the acceleration calculation. All right, so the numerator here should be negative 2.00 over 0 0.800. And as we said before, this should be negative. So if if the object is slowing down in the positive direction, it therefore has a negative acceleration. So negative 2 divided by 0.8 works out to be negative 2.5. So the acceleration is equal to negative 2.5. And I'm going to add another zero there because I have to have three significant figures because both of the measured values do have three significant figures. And the acceleration is meters per second squared. And that would be the final answer um, for letter B. Thank you so much for checking out the video. I hope it helped. Please subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Well, not see you. I'll talk to you soon.